Hello, everyone, and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Monday, May 29th, 2017. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm Nathan. Uh, and Nathan just froze. Oh, there it is. All right, welcome back. Please remember, everyone, that you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Nathan, how are you doing today? I'm doing all right. I am... Um... I was supposed to get a lot more done this weekend, and I didn't because I had been babysitting instead. Oh, you decided to go ahead and do that? Yeah, I was a living babysitter for a couple days. So you may notice that we're in the same spot in my room, and that is because I have yet to clean my room because I was uh, not here this entire weekend. Fun times. Yeah, it was pretty good. Fun times indeed. And as a reward for babysitting this entire weekend, I got two giant-ass bottles of gin. So... I may have been drinking this past couple hours. And so what you're also saying is that one bottle's already gone. No. My one bottle of, of Sprite's already gone because my, my roommates have been drinking the Sprite without the gin. So, like, there's barely any gin uh, gone. Which makes me sad because I bought two giant bottles of Sprite specifically so I can drink it with gin. These bastards keep using it without the gin. So now I have to go and buy more bottles of Sprite. So what are they using it for then? Just to drink? Just Sprite, yeah. Who drinks just Sprite? Me. Monstrous. Monstrous. No, no, no. Monster is an energy drink. Sp no, no, no. Monsters. There's a. There's more than one. They drink Sprite. If you if you put like four or five monsters in a circle together, they'll drink the Sprite. Is that so? Yeah. Is this scientifically proven? Yeah. Duh. Duh. Okay. Gosh. Shit, dude. <laughs> Oh yeah, I should probably share. Oh, my mom, my mom, um, my mom texted me like literally three minutes ago, and she was like, "Hey, it's six oh three. Are you guys doing the show? You guys, uh, is it still going to be a podcast tonight? What, what's going on?" So, so two things on that. One, I got. I was like, "Mom, mom, it's six oh three. Cool. We're 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 on our way. All right, we we're having some problems. All right, hold on." Well, the first thing is, I got home at five fifty seven. Right. So there's one. And two, mm -hmm. got in and got everything set up and ready to go. And I was like, yeah, sweet, let's do this. And I got Nathan in the call. And then Skype was like, nah, we're going to cancel your call. We need to update <laughs> right now. And it's like, Skype, could you, could, could you not? No, 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 this is important. It gave me enough time to watch my YouTube video, which was hilarious. Sure, it, I guess. It gave me enough no, time the to... No, the YouTube video, not, not you. Oh, I was like, it gave me enough time to finish actually getting ready. Yeah. I mean, because I had done the show notes, thankfully, before I left and stuff, so... Either way, let's, let's get into some new stuff, man. Ted, the fake news comes from within the White House. This is submitted by the right... The right paw of dog to our politics. Yeah, so... Th this is basically an article talking about the interesting contradictions that the White House slash Trump have. And that is that Trump, on one point in time, or at 8 o'clock in the morning on one day, we'll be like, y you know, Fox is fake news, and you're fake news, and all of these leaks, if they don't give sources, then they're not real people, because if you can't name your source, then they might as well not exist. Then they're not real people. And then two hours later, we'll say, you know, this, you know, it, it's a, a travesty that there is such a crime of information leaks within the White House, and that needs to be stopped, and those people should be locked up because they're leaking information out of the White House. It's like, I thought you said those people didn't exist. Apparently they do. Well, I mean, Trump is if there if, if, you, if you know who they are, then why aren't you, like, Well, that's the thing, they don't know them. who. Oh, okay. So we've just got a bunch of Chelsea Mannings running around? Like, the White House doesn't know who. The oh, goodness. The journalists, the journalists, this, this is, they would know, but I mean, they're protected under the freedom of press. They don't have to reveal their sources. Are you breaking Sorry. things? No, my, my computer is, is sitting on like a billion different things and it was all wobbly. So I was like, I'm probably going to move that. So it's less wobbly. You so should, it might yeah. take a second for me to fix my, ca my camera. You should watch. You should watch. I don't know. Either way, so, I mean, Trump also, it, he only cares about things that are good for him, so, I mean, he he knows that information is leaking out of the White House, that makes his administration look bad, so, in that case, he's like, you know, that that's bad, we need to put a stop to that, but on the other side of it, I mean, 
news i mean all the news pretty much makes him look bad and so with that he's like you know you guys <laughs> well, fake you, news when you're like in the news specifically like doing shit that you're not supposed to be doing all the time it's gonna, it's gonna look bad all the time literally all the time nonstop. Mm -hmm. so it it, it it there's not a lot past this i mean they give multiple examples of how many times he contradicts himself when it comes to fake news and then where that news comes from because he'll call something fake news and then later that exact same day because it was a leak from the white house say that they need to crack down on it and get rid of it i'm i'm sorry like you got super there it goes okay yeah, I moved the light. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but if it's coming from the White House, it's not fake news. It's alternative facts. That's not better. It's not, <laughs> but it's, it's what it is. <laughs> Nine. Muslim youth volunteers help repair Catholic monastery attacked by ISIS in Mosul. Uh, this was submitted by Mark Ru Mike Rubin to our uplifting news. Yep, so ISIS is, first off, not out of Iraq yet. Now, they only have one foothold left, and that is in the eastern section of the city of Mosul. That's the, all that they have left in Iraq. Now, there is multiple different forms of military personnel that are trying to push them out of that last little enclave that they've carved for themselves. But there's been a lot of damage in Missoula because of this. Not just uh, ISIS blows stuff up because they suck. Um, and so, but one of the things that was hit very hard was a Catholic monastery, an extremely old one. And so they, they, they've decided that they're just going to start helping rebuild it. That's cool. And awesome. It... What? Go on. I said, and awesome. Yeah, no, definitely. That's, that's, that's great because like, a lot of the times over there, even if you're not ex extremist, you're you're still like more towards your religion and and might not you know go out and and help somebody else because you know they they don't share your religion. You're you're not quite extremist enough to blow yourself up, but you're over there you know definitely set in 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 your religious ways. And th this is great that they're they're that a lot of the community is getting together to do it and and you know. Well, disregarding other people's religions and in, in, in the matter and just like helping other people out well and that's the entire idea behind like just let people coexist like mm -hmm. you believe what you want to believe let them believe what they want to believe as long as it doesn't actually cause harm to you then it shouldn't be a big deal but if you're curious i'll tell you about it you know yeah this particular monastery was built in the 10th century whoa <laughs> yeah like i said thing is old and unfortunately it's gotten mostly destroyed by the uh the terrorist attacks there in Missoula, but we need to make isis was 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 yeah why instead of is is oh okay wow mm. oh i missed a button it's a pun kind of a pun i'll give it to you anyway i don't like it but i don't care if you don't like it i know i don't like i don't like puns so it's not that's surprising. not true you you share like a lot of puns as is <laughs> You just like select puns that you choose, you fucking... <laughs> I, I like puns that either are extremely nerdy or have more effort put into them. How dare you? You have to accept puns in all forms, sir. Otherwise, that pun is going to feel singled out. That's fine. Eight. Theresa May's A Liar Song overtakes Miley Cyrus and reaches top ten in the charts. Profits go to food banks. This was submitted, submitted by Ragnarok Cometh to our music. So, All right, I haven't heard this song. What is it? Uh, I will pull it up on on the iPad so that you can hear it. So this is it. Wow. Okay. It what is what so, is it? it? It is a literal song that. Okay. It is a literal song apparently. That is calling Theresa May out for being a liar because. <laughs> oh man. And it's topping the charts now because people don't like Theresa May. I, I I, couldn't see why not, you know? We have a mission to make Britain a country that works, not for the privileged and not kind for the few, but for forth every Brexit. one of our citizens. And together, we, the Conservative Party, can build a better Britain. She's a liar, liar. She's a liar, liar. Just like 
telling lies. Big ones, little ones, porky pies. Saying they're strong and stable, won't disguise. We're still being taken for a ride. The nurse is going hungry, school's in decline. I don't recognize this broken country of mine. They're having a laugh, they show them the door, then cut the rich, not the poor. I'd be very clear that I think we need that period of time, that stability, to be able to deal with the issues that the country is facing. I'm not going to be calling a snap election. Calls a snap election. She's a liar, liar. She's a liar, liar. No, you can't trust her. No, 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 no. She's a liar, liar. She's a liar, liar. No, you can't trust her. No, no, no. Putting the mother of all bombs into tiny hands can go very wrong. I'm hoping for a future for my child where she can grow and feel inspired. Do everything in your power you can. People rising up is the only plan. When the future generations look back all right, I'm at gonna this go time. ahead and just cut it off right yeah, there. No, that's uh, I, I appreciate them choosing reggae. Uh, I wish they had more steel pan, but I'm. A huge sucker for steel pan. Just the sound of it gets gets all up in my spine, and I'm just like, ooh. That song is currently number nine on the charts in UK. That's amazing. Yep. <laughs> There's a lot of people that dislike Theresa May. I, 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 I want to see her reaction on this. Well, and so far she hasn't offered one. I mean, also this is a of course not. This is a remastered re-release of the song. This song was originally released back in 2014, but the DJ that made it, Captain Ska, he updated it with Captain new Captain Ska S K A. That's not that's not a ska song, no, sir. No, it's not. I mean, maybe it is just SKA. I don't know. But um, they originally released it, I think, back in, like, 2014. But they've updated it as, like, the second verse had a lot that involved, like, Trump and stuff like that. So, either way. Damn, they're... they should just update this every year, really. Well, there's a lot of people that don't like her. I mean, she's one of the big advocates for moving into Brexit. And mm -hmm. she's also just... She's their Trump in a lot of ways. She's not nearly as bad because she's actually a pretty professional politician with a lot of... You know, she handles herself better. But in terms of the way a lot of the United Kingdom views her is a lot of the way how a lot of the the, the people view Trump in a negative light. Is because... she alt-right? Is, alt is she like Marine Le Pen? Uh, not quite I that don't actually, bad. I, I know who Theresa May is. I don't know a lot about her stances because I don't, honestly, I don't follow UK um, well, uh, government much anymore I, ever since the uh, a little thing called the revolution. Yeah, that's <laughs> back in 1776. Yeah, that's right. Because fucking America. Um. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's fair and understandable, but she's the, she also we talked about it a few weeks ago. She's calling the snap election that's going to be occurring on June eighth, I believe, is when that's going to be taking place, and that will essentially they're wanting to rebalance balance the House of Parliament to better move into Brexit because right now it's pretty well divided, and they're hoping that they can make it more one sided so that they can actually reach decisions on Brexit. So they can streamline things. I guess. It's mostly just her wanting to get more of her party elected. Right. It's still streamlining. Stream, streamlining. Okay, hold on. Where's this thing? It's right here, right? Streamlining. Take, take two. <laughs> Action. Streamlining. Just in her preferred way. Yeah, whatever you gotta do to make yourself feel better. Mine is drinking. Uh, I mean, this is them trying to essentially put more of their party into the the, the, the House of Parliament, where it, it's no different than, like, gerrymandering on our end, where we just want to get one side of our bar bipartisan system shoved it up there as much as possible, because then they'll be able to get as much passed as they want. Oh, you mean, like, the in incredibly Republican uh, co country that's being run right now that is still vetoing a lot of stuff that the president's putting forth? Yeah, but we don't talk about that. Seven. Vladimir Putin is a bigger threat than the Islamic State, says John McCain. Oh, damn. This was submitted by Super Eggs to our politics. 
Holy shit, John McCain. Well, and the reason being is that right now there is no evidence to this, but he full well believes that Russia is involved in trying to influence elections, and not just ours. We also had, there was also signs showing that he was trying, they, he, they, whatever, Russia was trying to influence the French election. and In is now, favor of Marine Le Pen. And is also now looking like they might be trying to influence. Whoa, earthquake! Yeah, that is an earthquake and a pretty serious, pretty serious one. There was a yeah, that's a pretty good one. There was a the earthquake last night as well. It's still going. All right, everybody, there you go. Damn, fun times. I heard something fall. Oh well. Anyway, um, and there's also now evidence that shows my monitors need to stop shaking. Um, <laughs> uh, evidence that shows that they are trying to get involved in the United Kingdom snap election. And this is a, a concern, not just to John McCain, just in general. Like, other countries should not be working to influence another country's election. Yeah. I mean, I can understand trying to work better with a certain country. Still going. Still having a little aftershakes. Yeah, but uh, you should try to work with the country on their, like, chosen terms, not you specifically trying to, to choose for them so that you guys can work better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and the reason that he says that he believes that Putin is a bigger threat is because ISIS is a, a combat terroristic threat, right? Which right. is dealt with in a very different way. But this problem is, is the w reason that he finds that Putin is such a larger concern is because he's affecting things at the core. He's trying to affect things at the governmental level to make possibly unrepairable changes to the government. Yeah, no, uh, and it's it's almost as if it's a Cold War. Kind of. Did that ever technically end? I don't know. I don't. I don't either. I I guess in some ways it just went even colder. Maybe. Now we just spy on each other all the damn time. Yeah. Except I mean, instead of trying to spy on each other without anyone knowing, we just do it out in the open, and everyone goes, "Damn." Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty blatant. Yep. Everyone's just like, "Oh, well, okay, whatever. That's happening now." Yeah. Six. I mean, shit, it's not even spying if you're just telling them information. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's a really odd game of telephone. Uh, Penn yeah. State researchers have created a new hybrid technology that produces unprecedented amounts of electrical power where seawater and freshwater combine at the coast. This was submit submitted by Mavia to Our Futurology. This is very slightly misleading. Just is it ever so slightly? Ever so slightly? Ever so slightly. So the thing is, is that where salt water and fresh water meet, there is energy to be gained from the mixture of salt combining with fresh water. And there is three ways that they can do this. One is called PRO, which is short for pressure. Fucking pro. <laughs> pressure retarded pro osmosis. And what that is, is it basically catches the salt and pushes the water into a, a thing that creates pressure, which then that pressure will turn a turbine, creating power. Another one is called RED, which RED uses an electrochemical gradient to develop, because salt can has an electrical charge that can be ran through it. So if you take fresh water and salt water, you can build an electrical charge through it, which will produce energy. And then the third one is called, where, where does it go? It's called cap mix. And cap mix is a relatively new technology. It's electrode based that captures energy from voltage when the two different types of water hit one another. Now, the problem is, is that there's a lot of energy that can be gained, but it's very difficult to get a hold of with the current projections if we could get all of the energy that is produced when fresh water meets salt water it would power 40 percent of the globe damn getting that power is very difficult though because all three of these methods that i described are extremely inefficient but but you got to do it like a fucking pro. Well, instead, what they're they're you gotta looking capture at all the salt because pros are pretty fucking salty. Dude, we were walking. There was a, a, a the tangent. Hang on. <laughs> there was we we were in the Glacier Brew House, and there's what's that damn store called? Shoesy Q's. 
Shoesy Cues? Suzy Cues, whatever. No, I think it's called Shoesy Cues because it's a shoe oh, I store. I don't know. Either don't, way. I've never seen that store. And inside it, there was, I'll, I'll go ahead and throw it to myself in Hangouts so that I can eventually throw it up on the thing for other people to see. But it was a deck of cards. It looked like a deck of cards, but it was a salt and pepper shaker. And the salt shaker said Queen of Salt. And I was like, I know so many people this applies to. <laughs> oh, man. Can I be the, the Queen of Salt? I'm pretty fucking salty. Yeah, you was... seen me last night. I was playing Overwatch. And I lost, like, eight games in a row. I got super salty after playing those eight games. And I was like, fuck it. I'll just play Eternal. And I switched over to Eternal. And I lost another five games in a row before I won, like, two games. And then I was just like, I'm fucking done. Jeez, dude. I'm so goddamn angry. So I'll get that up. Either way, what they're looking at doing is instead of trying to rely heavily on one of these methods, they're going to be instead looking at trying to combine All of them. them? Uh, more like two. They're Right now they're looking at red and... Uh, pro? No, the cat mix. Okay, whatever. The reason that they don't do pro is pro has a, a byproduct because you have to use these special sheets to catch the salt and then it'll start mm. to grow stuff on there. And oh, if, okay. if it starts to grow, then it's no longer effective. So so they're, they're essentially just combining red and cat mix? Uh, so it's red cat mix? Yeah, which makes n no real sense when you just say it out of context like that. But yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Magic either players are like, oh, I know that deck. <laughs> either way it looks like it's going to be a lot more efficient it's still in preliminary studies but if this is something at effect that we can refine to a more optimal level then it can provide a lot yeah. of power that queen is fantastic i really want to be that queen you want to be the queen of salt i am the queen of salt <laughs> you are the queen of salt bow before me i know a lot of people that are the queen of salt mm-hmm Either way, though, we'll see. I mean, even if they can't get it up to the point where it produces 40% of the globe's power, if they can do, like, 25%, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, fuck, I would I would accept 12% because it's still a lot of power. Yeah, I'm, I mean, and it's literally just wa power that is produced from water doing water stuff. Now, like, how big do they need it? Like, can they just section off a small bit of the coast or, or like... It, it, it unfortunately doesn't give those details... Oh, okay. Do you have to, like, line the entire coastline with it? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that... surfing? It, that wouldn't matter because, like, the coastline is pure salt water. Where this only works where fresh water meets salt, salt water. water. Okay. Yeah. Now, there is a section of the ocean where that happens. But... Okay. It's not it's, a place... I mean, that you it's, would... it's essentially, like, river runoffs, right? Kind of, yeah. Sure. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. We should, we might have a bit of those, right, with the glacier runoffs and whatnot. Uh, I'm being told to move this onto your face. Okay. That's good. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. It's still very preliminary technology, so we'll see what actually happens with it. Sure. But it's something to look forward to. It's a possibility. Yeah. Five. Golfer Tiger Woods has been arrested on DUI charges in Jupiter. Is this again? Hasn't he, hasn't he, this, is, this has happened before, right? I don't know. This, this is Tiger Woods. He's always in trouble for something. This is submitted by Guacamole Fanatic to our news. I totally read that at first as Gorgon Fanatic because I, was, I just got done playing some Eternal. That's right. My brain, when I first read this the very first time, I was like, I didn't realize there was a town called Jupiter, so my brain only said the planet. I was like, uh, <laughs> okay, uh, what? Yeah, so the, and then he took a quick trip to Uranus. There's there's not a lot more to say about this, but apparently the internet thinks it's very important for people to know that Tiger Woods, who hasn't played a game of golf since February, he had extremely bad back problems, has had surgery, and apparently that's fixed, but then decided, you know what, instead I'm going to, you know, just drive and be drunk. Motherfucking Tiger Woods, back at it again. Dude, he's, like, it's like you're real good at golf, but you're real bad at life. I, I mean... Oh, there's a lot of people like that. They're really good in their respective fields, but really bad at life in general. I know there's lots of people that are bad at life, actually, now that we mentioned that. That's unfortunate. I'm I'm pretty bad at life. Eh, there are people worse than you. But I got gin, so gin. I'm pretty okay with that. It's all I, I'm, I'm taking the, the Tiger the Tiger Woods course. All problems be solved with gin. I've, I figured, I mean, he's a smart man. He's got a pretty decent last name. It's close to mine. It's just plural. Who? 
Oh, Woods? Yeah, I got it. Okay, I understand. I got it. I got it. I it, it makes sense now. Anywho, so on to other things. Four. Theresa May accused of being oh, Donald, back at it again. Donald Trump's mole in Europe after leaked documents show the United Kingdom tried to water down European Union climate change policies. This is submitted by Grep Nork to Our World News. That's after I shortened the headline. Oh my god, that's a huge headline. <laughs> right? What else does it say? Ridiculous. I don't remember. Oh, hey, Uncle Ken. So, either way, Theresa May has been trying to be very friendly with Donald Trump, which, I mean, whatever. I mean, he's the president of the United States. I mean, yeah, like, they're, they're world leaders in some ways. They need to get to know each other and try and be relatively. We're allies with them. It's yeah. understandable that they that need to, to have peaceful talks with each other. There's been a large amount of criticism against the United States president, specifically in this case about his denial of climate science and how climate change may or may not exist and the dangers that are associated with it. Trump does not believe in those things. He doesn't believe it needs to be something that is dealt with, concerned about, or any of that stuff. It's what stopped uh, the G7 meeting from achieving uh, anything. It's this true. Last this last uh, weekend, was it? They did it over the weekend? Now, the problem, though, that people are now calling Theresa May out on is that Theresa May recently introduced a change to the, um, well, proposed changes to energy agreements for the, the climate, because like the Paris Agreement and stuff like that, of wanting to hit certain thresholds by certain times. Now, what this has done, though, is initially it was by 2030, you must be completely... Uh, renewable energy, right? Mm -hmm. By 2030, you have, and, and it's not optional, it's mandatory, and you have to achieve it by 2030 and show progress on the way there. The changes that are being shown now that are proposed now is that it is, n it is voluntary instead of mandatory, and you don't have to do anything until 2029. Oh. So well. it allows people to just not do anything if they don't want to when it comes That's to. Until 2029, well after the fact that it's no longer repairable. Yeah. Like anything in the world. Like after everything is already ruined. Yeah. Oh, that's, you know, that's real, real great. Yeah. So, and people are saying that she's Donald Trump's mole. I don't want to call her, I don't want to say it has anything to do with Donald Trump. I, mean, I, I wouldn't say a mole, maybe like a skin tag. Well, I, I was going to say more along the lines of like maybe. Uh, just because her changes benefit Donald Trump's belief system doesn't mean that, like, he bought her off or anything like that. Like, she, it could just be the way that she feels that things should go. Now, do you have to pay someone for them to be a mole, or can they just give you information for free? Like, if, if she's just giving information for free, can, can she still be a mole is what I'm getting at. Um... Uh, Mookie in the chat room says, so everyone is incentivized to wait until the last second. You, I mean, if you don't have to do anything until the last second, then one part of the hope would be in the next 12 years that the rules get changed to where you don't have to do it at all. Also, I mean, it means that you don't have any expenses incurred until the very end because you haven't had you're, to put anything you're just in. postponing it, so you're just like, oh, let's just keep pushing it back. We don't really need to get there. Right, and so that, and, and that's why they want people to start doing stuff now because one, it starts up the benefits to the environment now and also it means that you're already on course to actually achieve that mm -hmm. definitely so. and, and it helps put in the infrastructure for a lot of things too uh, apparently according to the news that earthquake was a 5.4 on the richter scale that's pretty good that's not bad and it was yeah. near nikiski huh so anyway yeah i i it, it's going to be a continued fight when it comes to climate change and trying to fight it and do stuff about it, but... Yeah, seeing as how we, we, uh, we delayed another thing for it, another... What, what do they do with this, the, their acts, I think? I... what? You mean, like, executive orders? No, what, they, they were supposed to come to an agreement at the G7 meeting. I oh, forget right. the proper term for it. it I, don't, I don't know what the actual direct difference is. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. It might be a different in just the level of governmental system. Sure. I mean, because there's a lot of, you know, different... Like a world order or something? Well, yeah, and there's a lot of different ones. I mean, you know, you have the European Union and the United Nations. And those are different things that serve different purposes. And, you know, the, the 
uh, WTO and they're I mean and they all can affect things on a global scale just in different realms and right do it in but different I want to know the proper term for the the paper that that tells everyone that this is what's going on uh, like they, they need to come to some form of agreement what is the agreement called I think is it is it an order I, th I think I mean it, it, it uh, the one that I've been, I mean, I've been drinking a bit, so my, my words are kind of bad. Well, the thing that I immediately looked up was the Paris Agreement, which is part of you know the whole climate change G seven thing. Right. And, so are they just called agreements? The, yeah, this is just literally called the Paris Agreement. Okay, so that's all I need to know. Okay, you feel better now? A, a little bit. Okay. Three. Palestinian judge bans divorce during Ramadan because quote people make hasty decisions when they're hungry. Submitted by Mania for Beatles star, not the Onion. Yeah, I mean they're not they're not wrong. So I I get really hangry, and I oftentimes like I'll walk into work completely hungry and almost like just sit there and be like oh, I just fucking quit. I'm done. Oh yeah, I'm real. I'm really hungry right so now. So if <laughs> if I was hungry like really hungry for a solid fucking month, mm -hmm. you bet you bet your ass I'd probably quit that job. So, anywho, it is currently the month of Ramadan, which means that they are fasting, which means they do not partake in food, smoking, or sex during the daylight. So, yeah. I'm, I mean, at night, I guess that changes, but that also means from, like, you know, like, 5 a.m. until, like, 8 p.m., you're not allowed to eat, smoke, or, you know, do naughty things. And so, but apparently there's a large number of divorces right around this time, and a judge has banned divorces during the month of Ramadan because he doesn't believe that those issues would be issues if people were allowed to eat. But also, he's not saying that Ramadan's a bad thing. He's just saying you, that, that this is a result from Ramadan. No, I, I can completely understand that. There's a bunch of studies saying that, that because of the, the, the way your, your stomach works and the way um, like the bacteria and everything in your stomach work, it, it essentially is a second brain and it changes the way you, you think and everything. Kind of like the penis? Kind of, except this is... Oh man, I just took a drink of water common. and I felt that cold slosh down in my empty stomach. Oh, that's really unfortunate for you. I, my stomach's not empty and I'm about to fill it more because I have like cheesy jalapeno bread and more gin. <laughs> I'm Nathan, a lot feed more me. Gin. No, I'm gonna drink gin instead. Okay, that's understandable. I'm just like your dad. You're you're just like my dad. What? Yeah, instead of feeding you, I'm drinking. Oh well, I mean my I, I, my dad. I basically don't know him, so. Oh, I was gonna say my dad, but my dad was a great dad. Oh, well. Two. Good for you then, sir. Paris mayor demands black feminist festival that prohibits white people be banned. Submitted by Tragic Donut to Our World News. They trying to segregate themselves. Uh, basically, yeah. So there, in this festival, which is called the Nyan Sapo Festival, it's mm -hmm. due to run from July 28th to July 30th. Which I wait that. Oh, July. I was like, wait, that's like now. No, it's not July. It's two months from now. Either way, four fifths of the festival area will be set aside as a non mixed space for black women. Another space will be for non mixed area for black people, and then another space that will be open to all. And that that on the English side of things, it says it doesn't say non mixed. It says reserved for. So they get they get the choice of going over there or not. I guess. And so this. I guess that's the difference between segregation and not segregation is they have the choice. Well, while segregation is just like, hey, you're going over there, no other questions asked. Sort of. I mean, maybe because I mean it, it's supposed to be an open festival, and there is a section of the festival that is an open festival, but other sections are only allowed for black women, and there's another section that's only allowed for black people in general. If you are not a black person, they will not let you in. Right. I don't know how I feel about this because it's like it's like oh that's kind of it's kind of fucked up and you're not allowing all these other people, but at the same time it's like you guys have have suffered the other end of that and I feel like you know let's just give them this. Well, well, see, here's the thing: is that one of the things that like a line that resonates with me a lot was from Morgan Freeman, and he he doesn't like Black History Month, and he's like the he's like the way you defeat racism is you stop talking about it. And you, you stop perpetuating it and stop giving it fuel, and stuff like this only gives it fuel. Sure. 
that's that's fair that is true but my brain also goes into comparisons of like all women's sports or all dude sports you know because like roller derby is something that's a big part of my life and the wftda the women's flat track derby association is the worldwide comp competitive organization it's women's only and then like i mean you have I mean, you can also look at like pageants or you know competitions like you know you have miss universe and mr universe and those are separate things but like skin color is not supposed to be a competition no but i, I it, what i'm getting at is that there are other ways that are publicly accepted that there is this separation and this is a just a a fun time essentially right like and why should it matter if if only the black people are allowed in that special room over there i don't i don't care well and also i'm not gonna go over there and be like oh man i'm gonna stand by this window and stare in look at all of those black people having fun instead of going into this room where everybody else is also having fun and having fun in this room. Well, and then there's also the comparison to, like, Women's Night, which is everywhere. Yeah, no, that's that's a giant thing. So, I I don't know how I feel about it, because I, I, I understand why they want to pr push against it, because... Give, but, I mean, I guess it's, it's all, like, there's... You have Women's Nights, which are all generally more accepted, right? Right. You don't have... You don't really have Black People Night. You don't really even have, black like... Black People Night. <laughs> you don't... <laughs> Well, I mean, no, no, I, I understand. You, you don't, you don't really get like gay people night. You don't get LGBT night generally. I mean, I guess LGBT night is is something you'll see way more often than like, than like Asians only night. But like, maybe I don't see why, why, why you you shouldn't be able to have these things. I think it's because they're worried that it'll spur on additional things. I, I can understand that where where everybody's trying to segregate everybody else, but like if if you're worried about that being spurred on, I mean you you have to you have to nip it in the butt with all of these things. It's either all of these things are acceptable or none of these things are acceptable. Ooh, good lord. Well, and also there's the you know I don't know. It, it's a different like I don't I don't well, I don't like, know how to I approach mean, it. I guess also, it'd be kind of awkward if if you had a, a night for all white people. Well, and that and that w would be the thing that people. But that's just because, historically speaking, that that's not something that a lot of people enjoy, except for white people. Well, and that's where people start to begin, you know, crying reverse racism and things like that. And why is it okay for this to be this way? But if it was, you know, this other way, everyone would flip their shit. And but the thing is, is that if you cannot see why someone saying it's only okay for white people is a bad thing. And why it's somewhat okay for people to say no, it's only black people. Like, I don't. It, it's such a slippery slope that's a very difficult thing to approach because there isn't necessarily a right answer because there's so many different ways you can look at it. Because compared to like hard segregation where people are just being horribly mistreated based on their skin color or straight up slavery, just saying like, I, I mean, it, a he man woman's haters club, man, like. Women ain't allowed in, or you know, dudes ain't allowed in. A gentleman's only club. Yeah, that's a thing. So yeah. So I mean, and and a lot of the times, like, sure, they have those clubs, right? But there's a lot of negative connotation towards going to those clubs in some areas and in some in some aspects. So it's like, yeah, sure, you can get together and crack one open with your boys. But if you're doing it in that scenario where you're not also letting girls come in and crack one open, then you may be labeled as a bigot. Because historically speaking, that's what has, has happened from those. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like, like sure, there there might be negative con connotations in some aspects, but like, I think it's silly. I think it's really silly that that there's so much animosity towards towards wanting to connect uh, with people on specific aspects of their lives. I don't know. All right, let's just move on from there. Yeah. One. Scientists have created artificial viruses that can be used to target cancer. This was submitted by Mavia to our science. So I, th this is a, a hopeful step on the fight against cancer, but that's mm -hmm. all it is right now. Oh, uh, it's, it's, that's all we have for, on it? 
Well, I, I'll tell you what it is. Basically, they have created a false virus. It, is, it, it, it has no detrimental effects to your body whatsoever. But it looks and acts like a virus, so your body thinks it's a virus. Now, cancer, because of the way that cancer is a mutation of your of your cells, the body's natural antibody system, you know, your your immune system, does not respond very well to cancer. It in which it normally doesn't think it's something it needs to go fight off because it's like, oh, it's me. Like, why would I fight that? Right. And so what this virus does is it fight me, me. Is it goes in and attracts first off because it's a virus, it activates the immune system even mm -hmm. when it might not need to be. It triggers the uh, the alarm. Right. And then it will go out and the vi virus will go out and collect around cancer deposits. And then the then the anti antibodies your your you know your white blood cells or whatever the hell the, how your immune system works goes in and goes cool nom 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 this is the bad stuff and your body will naturally fight the cancer. Oh, cool! Because it's being tricked essentially into it's being triggered into into activating right right and then fighting the cancer because it thinks that that particular section where the cancer is is a virus. Oh, okay. Very cool. Still very preliminary because it, it It's like it's like we've always had this gun, but now we finally got the trigger to fucking pull the trigger. Well, yeah. Now, this is in this is only a this is the reason this is a big deal is it could lead to a cure for cancer, a way for us to fight it. This is not one because there's lots of like they've they've tested it out extensively and there's a lot of cancers it just doesn't work on. Like it just doesn't do enough. It doesn't. The body doesn't fight hard enough against it to actually be able to get rid of the cancer. Mm -hmm. But it's a good step. They did find very small success rates in very you know extreme cases, which means that it's a possibility. It's a stepping stone. It's another tool to build on to look for an actual solution. That's cool. It's it's uh it's another an, another facet, another avenue. Yep, and hopefully it gets somewhere because. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho. That's great. Um, I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! Nathan, what'd you care about in the last 24 hours? No, I wait, no, the last 72 hours? I care about not having to listen to Big Bugs Band anymore. Big, big, what? Alright, so I am I had to babysit a 10-year-old oh. for like three days. <laughs> or not a 10-year-old, a 10-month-old, I'm sorry. Sure. And one of her favorite things is Big Bugs Band. So we'll put on Big Bugs Band and we'll sit there. Each episode's like maybe five minutes. Mm -hmm. And we'll sit there and listen to it. And there's like nine episodes on Hulu. And um, I sat there and listened to all nine episodes maybe. Ad nauseum. 20 times. I'm so sorry. I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. I'm really glad that now I have gin so that I can try and forget it. Yeah, that, um, that mm-hmm. We played some D&D &D last night, and uh, I drank throughout the night. I went to sleep and slept through most of today. Uh, since I didn't get to move my, my um, setup, it most likely won't happen this week unless it's on Friday because I... I mean, sure, we get we get off earlier and I can do stuff, but like I'm not going to do it today. I'm really dead tired. Probably not going to do it tomorrow. From being dead tired and drinking so much, then I'm just going to... I'm just going to, after this, go back to going and drinking more. Um... And then, I mean, I've got two giant bottles of gin, so I'll probably be drunk this entire week. Congratulations. Just, I, be, just be sure to eat. I mean, I've got this cheesy jalapeno bread that should last me a, a, uh, tonight. Afternoon. Yeah, tonight. Oh, um, my mom. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Sorry. I didn't know you my had another one. My mom contacted me, and we were talking, and she. Now, because of the podcast, she'll uh, constantly spew out, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Nice. That's amazing. And I'm like, <laughs> my mom's Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> Make me a sandwich, Mr. Meeseeks. I want a sandwich. My mom makes some pretty good. It's Did you know it's scientifically proven that your mother makes better sandwiches than you? I uh, I believe it. You, do you Do you know why? Uh, it's chemicals in your brain. Pretty much, actually. When you um. When you make the sandwich instead of your mother, you're constantly you're you are around the ingredients, so you smell them, so it dulls your your taste. Oh, okay. So when your mom makes your sandwich for you, you don't have that that dullness from from smelling the ingredients constantly. Okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I guess it doesn't have to be your mom. It could be really anyone who makes you a sandwich. Sure. 
I bought an exercise bike today. Congratulations. Yep. Not a, not a real bike? No, because I want to no. be able to work out at home and watch anime. You can do that in with a real bike. Ah, uh, not as easy. You get like a selfie stick and you attach it to oh, it. Oh god. What's wrong with you? Uh yeah, Adam's I I, I maybe I don't I, I asked him if he would. I don't know if he actually agreed to it or not. Adam might be coming over later to help me carry it upstairs and carry some of some stuff downstairs. As I well can't as, help you, friend. I'm too that, uncoordinated. That, the that's okay. You stay at home and enjoy yourself and I'll, I'm probably going to fall asleep with a bottle of gin in my hands like a little baby. Either way, um, I have this office tum from, you know, working in an office and I don't do anything anymore and I really need to do something. And I was considering getting a gym membership, but I don't really want to pay for it because even cheap ones are expensive. Oh, and fair. we had been going to thrift shops and stuff over the last like week or so because Jennifer's mom was in town and she really likes thrift shops and there were some major sales for Memorial Day weekend. So... We were looking around and like in all of them because we'd been teasing Adam about getting one, right? And mm -hmm. then I we looked at them and they're like at thrift shops they're like anywhere from like thirty dollars to like eighty dollars, and I was like, that's pretty cheap. Like, gym membership is like thirty five dollars a month. This would I like comparison wise. Because, like, that's what I'd want to go to the gym for, would be, like, to get on a bike and just, you know, get active in some way. So burn fat and do cardio? Yeah, and so we... Not tone muscles? I Not really, no. I mean, maybe a little bit. I'll, you know, I have some weights here if I just want to build some chest and arm muscles and stuff. And so we drove around and we looked at one and we found a pretty darn nice one that works and it's a good one. It's got intervals on it and it was $25. Oh, that's cool. Yep. And I'm pretty excited to get that all set up and stuff. Because it'll, like, I always want to watch more anime, but I always end up choosing to play a video game instead. So now if I can start working my way through my anime backlog by also working out, it's a good, good, good deal. Yeah, you, I mean, there's tons of stuff to watch. Like, you have to watch One Punch Man. It's true. And other, other things, like... Attack on Titan Season 2. Uh, Risa in the chat room says, I know that if I made a sandwich for myself, it'd be better than if my boyfriend made it for me. Just saying. Well, see, that, here... Alright, so, like, there's skill levels, I guess? Yeah, I was like, here's the thing, is that if they just straight up suck at making a sandwich, then that's different. <laughs> I, I don't understand how you suck at making a sandwich. It's bread, ingredients, bread. Like, it's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking straightforward. That being said... I guess there are skill levels to making sandwiches, which is why they're sandwich makers and sandwich artists. Sounds to me like you need a new boyfriend. Nathan's single, by the way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, um, also to answer a question that uh, Sarah asked in the chat room a while ago, how that worked towards the end of the show, um, Sarah asked why we are broadcasting in a new time. The broad We started the broadcast today at 6 p.m. Alaska time, 7 p.m. for the West Coast, 10 p.m. for the East Coast. The reason being, first off, is that Streaming at 9 p.m. Alaska time completely takes away our ability to present the live show to anyone else in the United States, basically. Like, we know people that are in, you know, the central time zone, and 9 p.m. here is midnight there, and that's, like, people, uh, we, we, our show's during the week. People need to go to sleep. No, and they don't. I can attest to this. I'm living proof. I'm <laughs> barely living proof. And also, like, the... We don't go to bed right after the show, but Fuck, the show no, I don't. <laughs> the show being in the middle of like the evening essentially starting at 9. It's actually probably one of the reasons why I stay up so late. Well, maybe you'll go to bed earlier now. <laughs> 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 it's already wait, ingrained, wait, Nathan, dude. Nathan, Nathan. It's not happening. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, you're not oh, going man, to sleep. No, I'm before. still probably going to end up going to sleep at one every night. It's really true. But either way, it's to get more people available to the show. Yeah, Risa in the chat room says this is the first time she's been able to watch it live because they go to sleep at nine. And that that's the point is we want more people to be able to watch the show live as an option because we enjoy having you in the chat room. We enjoy being able to talk to you. And that. Oh, that... we had um a bit of, of mail come in today. We did? From It was, it was in our... um. It was in our Facebook inbox for for I read it, I and it was a news article that uh, David Chadwick sent us. Why did I not see it? I don't know. Um, it is a news article about a man who is a kung fu master 
pulling a plane like 30, 30 meters, I think. Well, after with his penis, I will, I will. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he he went he went over his estimated uh, distance by like eight meters. Power to you, dude. He's got the fucking dong. I'm telling you. Jesus. All right. Either way, um, he knows cock fu. No, no. All right. Uh, at that note, let's get out of here. I'm done with this. <laughs> Everybody, if you want to help support the show, please go to patreon.com slash daily internet. Uh, just quick reiteration, we are doing the show live now. <laughs> he pulled the plane ahead. It's a pie. At 6 p.m. Alaska time. That's 7 p.m. if you're on the East Coast and 10 p.m. if you're on the West Coast. Nope. Flip those. Strike that. Reverse it. 7 p.m. if you're on the West Coast. 10 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. I can do math. Otherwise, follow us on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of those are at iRedditCast. I'm Schwan Michael on all of those. Nathan's at Bimmenstein on most of those, except for... Uh, except for, like, Steam. I'm nearly headless Nate on Steam. Y'all y'all want to play me in some speedrunners or some, some other things? Let's play. We'll play Alien Drop reaction thing. Other ways that you can help the show is leaving us a five-star review on iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play that increases our visibility to help other people find the show. And then, of course, if you'd like to send us articles, as apparently Chadwick did, but I totally missed, um, you can send us a email to our inbox, which is feedback.iredit at gmail.com, or you can yell, you can call and yell at us and tell us how much we suck with your own beautiful voice, which is 508-738-2278. Yeah. And uh, just remember that Theresa May is apparently a massive, massive liar. <laughs> and remember, guys, the website is www.gofccyourself.com. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, that is your 295th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwan. And I'm Nathan Wood. And please remember, everybody. Don't get <laughs> Have a good night. Goodbye. <laughs>